Right, hello everybody. Welcome to the replay analysis of my uh, fourth Rebel game. Um, playing against Fiction with uh, another, another Wood Elf team. Um, he won the toss and chose to receive. Um, now, what he did, interestingly, he, he, used the, uh, he used the Rebel point system to get a guard guy, which was a, which was a pretty good move. I like that. Um, he did go a sidestep instead of strip ball, though, which could have been crucial. And then block and wrestle. So, you know, pretty pretty similar teams, but he didn't have the tree. So I, I felt like I was an underdog in this game because I thought, clearly my tree is going to take root on the first turn of each half. Um, so I'll be down a player for this match. So that is what I was thinking. Um, so, yeah. But I, I guess he received so that he would have... Um, he would have his sidestep and his guard to protect it. He rolls a one in nine there on the wrestle guy and then doesn't on the other one. Always feels bad, man. We're in chase cam here, so it's because he just received looking from his point of view. Blitz is a dodge guy with tackle. I mean, I could not not allow that really. I guess I could have had Dodge Guy on the line, so that uh, if he if he hit with a dancer, we'd have to put him on the other ice. I could have uh, just three dice the uh, catcher here, couldn't I? Move the tree and then hit the catcher with the tackle. That might have been an idea. But I went for the old, blitz him into the tree. So I wouldn't have to activate the tree. Well, wouldn't have to. If it's a power, don't have. To. He's he's based by a tree, and if it's a push, then I would three dice with the tree. He gets a removal straight away. I mean, it's on my worst player, so it's not really, you know, not so bad. I'm playing quite, quite, uh, quite cagey here. Maybe I should have been more aggressive. Looking back. But I mean, he's really, he's really concentrated on making the ball safe all the time. I'm just trying to keep everything in front of us. Get the knockdown here, and then I think if I move the tree, he's basing three players. That seems, that seems a very good move by this tree. Now I'm thinking, basing, basing three guys. Of course, he takes root. Use a loner reroll because I got the ex I got the bonus one from the kickoff event. Still fail it. Thanks. Great start. So my prophecy <laughs> has come true. I mean, it's a bit crap on defense, but at least it, at least it's holding the center a bit. Forces him to push down one side or the other. So it's quite a quite an even defence, isn't it? So he's gonna have to putting a wrestle guy. Whoa. Glorious. Maybe should have gone this way, eh, and blitz that guy. Would have probably been better. Than I think the guy's actually got wrestle. Maybe you want to stay away from the strip ball. He's, he's, you know, he, he plays well here, Fiction, to be fair. Um, there's just not really 
a lot I can do. TBH. Uh, he really does really does a good job of using his guard and uh, limiting the hits on the dancer. Or limiting good, you know, I don't have get good shots on the dancer. Maybe I defend over defend here this side. Maybe I shouldn't have moved him there. Maybe he's he should have stayed there and him there. Because I give him I give him the opportunity if he powers this catcher he can move forward. And that's exactly what he goes for. So maybe I should, maybe I've messed that up a bit. Maybe a bit of a mistake. Now he gets the two guys through, doesn't he? He's a little bit unlucky there to feel like GFI. But uh, now, I guess what I should have done, I, I thought I thought I'd done a clever move here. I thought I'd done a clever move of chaining this uh, chaining this guy to get a one dice on the ball, but I couldn't cancel the assist, so it didn't give me a one dice on the ball at all. Um, so my great move for the turn actually wasn't a great move. He, the play was to get in a guy here, get in a guy here, chain him and then one dice the ball, but I just couldn't. I could have still just leapt in and, and one dice still, I guess. Uh, I could have moved in the guy here. Dodged one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Catcher could have come to here. This guy could have just gone in there and then I could have just gone for the leap one dice. As it turns out, that would have been a better play than what I tried to do, which just did not work. Did not work. I, so I definitely, definitely played this wrong. I thought it was a quite a cool little little chain push move that I had set up. Obviously, double, double score on on the uh, on the attempt. But um, yeah, I was like, oh, now I can't cancel that assist. So I just I just completely fucked it up. Um, so then I changed tack and blitzed this guy. Should have blitzed the one in front of him, get the ball down, get wrestled. If I'd hit the other guy, if I'd hit the defenseless guy, it would, I would have knocked him over and then I'd have had guys around here. So I really did, really did mess this up um, this turn quite badly. Quite badly. I should have either gone for the leap one dice or I should have gone for hitting him. Because if I had hit him, I'd knock him down and then r run through, you know, a couple of guys, and I've got a bit in front, haven't I? But as it is, he gets to move everybody here, everybody through, and he gets quite a good little cage. Kills a guy. I mean, the, the death doesn't really matter with it being, uh, with it being, resurrection mode, but. Still, the Kaz was annoying. And again, he, he gets the, he gets the, he's, you know, he does it well. He, he gets down the sideline. I mean, I give up the sideline a bit, to be fair, by blitzing this guy to this guy. Um, but I mean, he does a good job of making it. I could only hit him on, on one dice, because of the guard on here and here. Then I get surfed the turn after. So. And then he sidesteps to like here, and it's it's a really hard recovery. So he did do a very good job, I thought. Did fiction of his offensive drive. I'm just stuck punching guys. It don't really matter. But then get a Kaz back, so it's not so bad that uh, you know. 
I'm down three players effectively with losing the tree. I didn't want him to get blitzed by a tackle, but I should should maybe put him, put him back there. Made more of made more of an effort to get in the way. Glorious. Yo. Yo. <laughs> I like how she says yo. <laughs> Thanks very much, do we ask Benny? Thanks for staying fantastic for four months. Aw, yeah. So yeah, I saw this catcher down the river here. Um, because just at him again, I just didn't want him to hit the hit the dancers. But and he, again, he did a very good job of, of getting forward and protecting everything with it with a guard. Very, he was played very well. Simple as that. It's almost as if he's played what else before. In fact. <laughs> Thank you very much, David Aspen. See, this is bad. The bad thing was, if I if I just had some balls and put the dancer out there, then then this would have been a strength three guy, so he couldn't have done what he's done there. But with him being strength two, it really limits my options. Strength two without block instead of strength three with block. So I shouldn't have really protected a, an armor seven blodger, even though, I mean, hmm, I didn't have an apple. I didn't want him to get hit, but I guess I should have done that turn. And again, I can't really, I can't really do anything because the leap would be in here. But he's got guard. I could run around, leap to there, and then dodge and a three plus to one dice him. Looking back, maybe as I should have done. But I'd try to put a bit of pressure on. Um, for the next turn, but I just don't put enough pressure on, as it, as it turns out. Again, I didn't want, I didn't want the dancer to get punched, but I, I should have just based up with the, with the dancer as well. Well, I thought I'd done quite a good job of putting some pressure on here. Oh, maybe this guy should have gone there, right? Eh? Maybe this guy should have gone there. Oh, but then this let me punch that guy. But I thought I'm gonna get one dice here. I thought he can't, he can't keep it safe another turn, is what I thought. But I thought wrong because he, he certainly could keep it safe for another turn. Yeah, if the dancer had been. In here, say, and the catcher had been there, and the other throw, and the throw had been in there. But as it was, he could just block and blitz and make it safe again. So yeah, I made I made a few mistakes. You can't really easy to say in retrospect, or if you're watching a game rather than playing it, but. Looking back, yeah, there were, there were quite a few things that I did pretty wrong there. Basically playing too passively with the dancers. So now, I mean, there's no way I can stop the assist from this guy. Unless I just leap in with the, with a different dancer first. Um, that seems a bit stupid, so I just go for the, the leap in and hit through. You know, hit, let him assist anyway. Um, fail, use the reroll on the leap. Two dice uphill, still a decent chance to get a push. And uh, roll a skull, of course. So yeah, I mean, I, there was, I had a lot better chances than that. So. But the, the biggest thing was was being too too protective of Shearer, basically. He doesn't, he doesn't get greedy there. So one nil down, very good drive by him. I would say a few. I, mean, I, I played too passively, protecting the dancers. I guess was, was my mistakes. Uh, and then blitzing the wrong guy, blitzing the wrestle guys or the defenseless guy. So, a few mistakes, but never mind. Um, so now we've got the one turn attempt though. So there's a chance, isn't there? Movement eight sprint. They're kind of like a, you know, kind of like a movement nine one turn. So only need to push them two squares forward. He makes me use the whole method, um, but that's like kind of all he achieves. 
So it means I'm gonna get two, I'm gonna have to get two pushes and then and then a power basically for a decent chance of a touchdown. Push him in there. Push him in there. Push him the second one. And here we get a lovely throw a rock, where my other catcher gets killed. Um, but the stud makes the one turn. I didn't need him for the one turn. Thank God it was wasn't the one that did that was doing the one turn. So at first I was terrified when I saw that a catcher had died because I knew McManaman was a catcher, and I'd already had um, the other catcher die. So when I when I when I found out a second catcher died, um, I had to do a long bomb here, a uh, long pass here because. The kick was so deep it would have been a long bomb if I'd done it optimally when he was in one tackle zone. Uh, got the four plus pass, cancelled the assist, two dice, looking for a push, get the push. Now, let's have a look. There's two ways I can do it here. I can do a three dice with a tree, needing a push. Or I can do a two dice with him, needing a push. And then if I powed, I would push him to there and the tree could hit him. I would need to fill in these two spots which would be a 5 plus dodge and a 6 plus dodge. So yeah, it was it was the right play to hit with the tree here. And then of course I get a pow, can't use the loner. So I pow him and I don't get the chance of pushing him forward with the last block. So I think I was pretty unlucky there to not get the push and then, you know, I could have got another push pretty easily. Then it'd be a 3 plus 2 plus 2 and then 3 2 2. 3 2. So it was a pretty good chance of a one turner. But instead of scoring one turner, I just had a catch it killed. <laughs> Thanks to the throw rock. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So the tree has failed a three dice, or failed to get a push in a three dice block, and and taken root is other is other action. <laughs> Let's see how well he does in the second half. <laughs> so I'm down two catches, which obviously hinders the scoring part. Losing two of your movement eight guys with dodge. And being a man down on offense is is a struggle as well. But you know, I'm, I'm, I haven't given up here at all. I'm, I mean, obviously, I've given up on the win at this point. I've given up on the win here, I'm j because we're both three and zero. Oh. You know, a win gives us a chance with two more. A, a draw gives us a chance with two wins in the next two rounds. So I'm happy to get a draw here. So I'm just going to try and get a draw. I'm not going to. I'm not going to try and score fast and turn them over or anything. Fail the cash was a bit. I was a bit disappointed about. Just hit the defenseless guy. I came trying to protect <laughs> protect the d tackle dancer. Tree takes root. First action. So, so far, the, tr the tree... I, and you know what? This was a mistake. Because I should have gone for the pickup. So I could have used a team reroll on the pickup. And then I could have used a team reroll on... And then, you know, activated the tree last. So I could have re used a team reroll on the, uh, on the take root. But... Typical in it. I mean, this is a. I was feeling pretty unlucky right now. The tree is so far <laughs> rooted the, on the first turn of both halves and and messed up the the one turn attempt. <laughs> he hasn't been he hasn't been the best tree in the world. Maybe he's I uh, overprotected the ball as well because he doesn't have strip. So at best he was looking at a one in three to get the ball on a one dice. So I, maybe I should have pushed pushed forward more. I wanted to keep the tree somewhat somewhat involved. That's what that was my problem. This half. Because I mean if the tree isn't involved, I'm just down I'm just down th two players and he's down well I'm down three and he's down one. So he's got a two man advantage and a huge movement advantage. Still having all his catches. And mobility advantage from having dodge. So yeah, I felt I felt pretty bad. <laughs> oh. 
Huge, huge dodge failure there. I should have, I should have pushed down this side maybe. But again, I wanted to stall out the half. I didn't want to push down too early. But maybe I should have pushed early. Maybe I should have done that. You know, down players. And I've got a stripper. Do you know what? Maybe, maybe I used the wrong strat here. Maybe I should have pushed, pushed down here. Scored on turn eleven, then try to turn him over for the win. Maybe I should have done that. He did play the defense very, his offensive drive very well. But again, I'm just trying to get the tree involved somehow. But I mean, he wasn't. He wasn't stupid. He wasn't letting me blitz anybody into the tree. And, you know, this guy was protected by the dancer and stuff. But yeah, I guess I should have pushed down that side that turn. Just desperately, desperately trying to not be down so many men. <laughs> getting, the, getting him in. Yeah, yeah. Looking back, looking back as, as to how open that was, and obviously with the knowledge of what happened after being men down and everything. I mean. It is easy to look at it with hindsight, isn't it? But looking back, I, I guess I should have I should have gone more in Aryan style. I mean, it's really hard to stop Woody scoring in two turns, isn't it? Or, or whatever, but maybe I should have gone forward and tried to score there. Now, I did have four rerolls as well, so I could have gone hyper, hyper aggressive on defense. <laughs> Instead, I'm just blitzing a dude. <laughs> you know, I'm just blitzing a dude and then getting blitzed back and I'm not advancing and I'm losing players. And it was just crap, really. I'm like, and I, now I'm thinking, how on earth am I going to make a hole? I just can't make a hole. Whereas I should have made the hole, the, the turn where he gave me the hole, so. He's not letting me hit this guy into the tree. Again, caging around the, the tree, trying to trying to hopefully get him involved. But, uh, I mean, he played well in the second half, apart from letting me down that side, which he probably should have re-rolled that one that he rolled on that dodge. Not that it mattered, because I didn't, I didn't push down that, but I should have pushed down there. See, I think also the fact that I knew a draw was alright. If I'd scored the one turner, I would have totally pushed down that side. You know? That's the thing. If, if it was 1-1, one, one, I would have fully pushed down that side. Gone 2-1 up. Think, right, I can't lose now. See what happens. But um, with it being 1-0 down, I really wanted to just try and make it 1-1. One, one, which was stupid, because he could have scored his one turner. So, lose another guy here. Yeah, I do regret not pushing down that side now. And now, now that he's two away, I'm definitely not getting the tree involved in the match again. So now, I'm, now I'm suddenly down three. Well, I'm down four players, and he's down one. So I'm, I've got to somehow, you know, seven versus ten. I've got to somehow protect the ball in advance. That is horrible, really. Absolutely horrible. You know, my rerolls don't really allow me to do anything good. I guess I could have made a bunch of GFIs and hoped hoped they'd worked. Doesn't seem great though. Maybe I should have done a couple of GFIs up there and stuff like that. I guess I should have I guess I should have pushed foot harder, but I don't know. People can play bad, can't they? I mean, I'd, I don't think I played terribly or anything. I was disheartened about losing so many players, but, um, yeah, looking back, looks like a poor strategy. But, you know, on the, that's the thing. It's just the dice, really. On, a, on another day, I score that one turner, and then it's 1-1, one, one, and then I, I would have I pushed down the sideline there. But then you might have just left in 
tackled me and stole it, and then I could have lost that way, couldn't I? So you, you, you can't really say. You can't base... You can't base your thoughts on what actually happened, can you? Or how the dice fell. It doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is, like, the odds and... You know, the decisions you make with the information you have, isn't it? Is, what, is all you can judge it on. But I mean, here I'm just screwed. I, you know, it's absolute desperation on the last. I know I'm going to be in desperation on the last turn. Um, again, <laughs> you met using the tree as the part of the cage. It's just awful. He was he was GFIing to get into scoring scoring range there. Sneaky scoring range because he's movement nine effectively, isn't he? So I, I like that play because I thought he might he might you know he might not deal with him and he could he could actually score. Obviously, he just he just elf screens it up, and with no players, it's pretty pretty hard to break through. But yeah, I should have. Yeah, there's a, lot, there's a few things I did wrong. Nothing really horrible. Nothing made you think, "Wow, why on earth did you do that?" But um, a few things looking back, yeah, I should have I should have pushed through that gap when it was there and stuff like that. I like him blitzing the wrestle with the wrestle. That's something I like to do. I mean, how, how on earth do I break through this here to scoring two? Absolutely horrible. So I just think, screw it, let's go ham. Go for the blitz and then dodge us through. And I'm just going to go for all the, you know, because my guys have got dodge. So it's not, it's not ridiculous odds to roll a three plus, a three plus two plus. Isn't ridiculous. Of course, he rolls a double one and dies. <laughs> Which uh, summed up the match for me there. That's <laughs> the third death. You know, five players down, six including the tree. And that was, that was all she wrote. He does the right play of blitzing the only guy in scoring range there. Very good. That's his first action, in fact. I don't know if he knew he was in scoring range. You mean, yeah, obviously he did know, but, you know. <laughs> obviously he did know. So he, he did the right thing, he, you know, and now he, he knows he's won, hasn't he? There's nothing I can do. Uh, touchdown difference is a thing for him, though. Well, it is for me, actually, now that I've lost one. It could be for him if he loses one. Um... So yeah, so he he, he swarms because he wants he wants to get the uh, the touchdown difference. And I mean, there's not really there's not really much I can do, is there? Blitz the uh, blitz the catcher and try to dodge away. Is all I've got. I was thinking I could I could chain him forward one square, but I just couldn't chain him forward two squares, which is what I needed. But I could have dodged out here and uh, chain him forward one square, and then I went for a leap and a dodge, a bit of a potato. I could have done that the turn before, really, couldn't I? Something like that. Double one on the dodge. <laughs> I mean, okay, and he did a 3 plus again, but still. Pretty, pretty horrible dice I had overall. I mean, I did have horrible dice, and he did play well. So, if you have horrible dice and your opponent plays well, you're going to struggle to win. But there still were players I could have made better, you know, different lines I could have taken. So, at the end of the day, um, you know, although the dice were actually horrible, Completely horrible. <laughs> failed, failed one turn. I took loads of cars. Uh, you know, he he did play well, and and I made some mistakes. So I can't really complain too much about it. 
Also on the stats as well after the match, you can see you can see the dodges that we both made, which is pretty pretty telling. I don't think I'll deserve to lose two 0 but never mind. There you go, 2 0 loss. So now Fiction's 4 0 and I'm 3 0 1. So I've got to win the last two and I've got to get a good touchdown difference as well. So I'm going to have to play like Unari in the last couple of games. So I could definitely lose them now. Um, but yeah, if you look at the dice rolls here, obviously the take routes failed to the first two of each half. Dodgers passed 7 58% dodges while, uh, while he made 14 failed to. And uh, yeah, that's. Had all those cars, 50-50 on GFIs. <laughs> it was really two out of two on take routes because the, the third one didn't matter because it was the one turner. So it was two out of two on take routes, two out of two on loners. It was just a, it was just a horrible game dice-wise, horrible game um, result-wise. But there were a few things I could have done better, so there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.